Alright, alright, what's up, what's up mga Chimek? It's your boy Sir Jello once again for another episode in our chemistry adventure. So we're still on the topic about carbon compounds, specifically hydrocarbons. So for today's session, we are expecting to do the following. First is to recall the rules in naming alkane and then apply it in a certain example. Now just a refresher of what we have discussed in the previous pre-recorded videos in our and in our synchronous session. And then we'll define now alkene. So we'll introduce alkene and then differentiate alkene from alkanes. Now, uh, uh, how do they differ? And then we'll try to state and apply the rules in naming alkenes. So without further ado, let's get it on. Alright, alright. So, to begin, now let's have a quick recap of what we've discussed so far. So, first, we introduce carbon as the element of life no, and the special nature of carbon on why is it so important no, or why is the element carbon is very significant in the chemistry world. Now, we discuss uh, how it readily combine with other elements to form covalent compounds and uh, organic compounds, etc., etc. We also discussed that yan, uh, carbon is the thing that we look for when we look for life on other planets no, or outside the Earth. Uh, last time, we focused on uh, alkanes no? and we learned how to name them no, in different scenarios. So, uh, as I've been repeating last time, uh, if you can get the rules easily in naming alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and the aromatic hydrocarbons will be a piece of cake. So let's see, no, if if what I said was true, no, assuming that you learned or you've mastered the way of naming alkenes. So, all right, let's have a quick recall. No, we we are going, we're still basing our. Uh, rules from the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists, no, the UPAC, so that we'll have a uniform, no, globally uniformed names for the alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, etc., etc., that we are going to discuss as we proceed. So, let's recall first what an alkane is and what are the rules in naming an alkane. So, we learned that alkanes are aliphatic hydrocarbons, meaning it's it's open, no, it's not closed, it's a straight chain of hydrogen and carbons, no? aliphatic hydrocarbons. There is no double bond and triple bond, thus making it saturated, as I've mentioned last time. And we have the formula CnH2n plus 2, and we have the basic names for hydrocarbons or the alkanes. No? We have methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, etc., etc. The prefixes along with the A and E no, representing alkanes. And we learned how to name them. No? Now, the difference between an alkane and an alkene is that same, alkene is still an aliphatic hydrocarbon, meaning it is an open no, chain of carbon. It's a straight chain, not a closed one. However, unlike Alkene, which has no double bond or triple bond, alkene have at least one double bond. No? Pwedeng dalawang double bond, tatlong double bond. No? But basta merong dalawang, uh, merong dalawang bond, no? at least there's one double bond, it's already an alkene. No? We change A to E, making it alkene instead of alkane. And then, it's unsaturated. Again, what do we mean? Uh, what is the difference between saturated and unsaturated? Just like uh, mixing or preparing a juice, uh, if if the powder is fit or is just enough for the water, then it, it will be saturated. No? Kapag unsaturated naman, in our Bicol term, no, parang lasaw. No? Lasaw siya. Meaning, the carbon, supposedly, now, our our hero for this topic can accommodate four hydrogen no if if it's a hydrocarbon which are which we are talking about however because of the presence of the double bond so this is for my alkene 
may alkin has at least one double bond. So, limbawa, may isa siyang double bond, my carbon can no longer accommodate 3 hydrogen or 4 hydrogen. Instead dito, kung kukonect siya sa carbon, meron pa siyang tatlong hydrogen. Right? It will be uh, CH3 plus 1 carbon that's saturated. Dito, it will have another carbon. However, it will only have 2 hydrogen here. No? Sir, bakit, bakit mo ganyan po yung pakadrawing mo ng uh, connection nila? Bakit hindi ganito, sir? So, again, this is two-dimensional and we already know by molecular geometry and Vesper theory that the bonds will be as far as possible from each other. So, it will be more accurate to draw, to draw, to draw them like this one. So, et eto, this is now my alkene and this is unsaturated. No, unlike my alkene with, a f with four single bonds which is saturated. The formula for my alkene will be CNH2N now without the plus 2 anymore. So let's uh, let's see further now what's their differences. So alkene, since it's ENE for their suffix, one carbon will be this one, this will become still, or let me rewrite that. My one carbon with double bond, pede bayon, magkaroon ng carbon with one double bond yes or no it cannot be because hydrogen cannot be here How, why is that because hydrogen has one valence electron so the double bond will only occur between carbon to carbon take note of that no a, a single carbon cannot have a double bond no, unless it has another carbon attached to it. Kasi nga, si hydrogen is not enough for a double bond. Therefore, there is no such thing, if, if our alkane has a meth, meaning one carbon methane, wala tayong alkene with one carbon only. So, there is no such compound called methane. No? Kasi, one carbon is not enough. So, the minimum for an alkene is two carbon. That's why we start with F. Now, just like our prefix for alkene, it's still F. No, sa alkene is ethane. Dito naman, sa alkene, since there's a double bond, it looks like this one. So, ito na ang ating first alkene, no? Or eto, to be more accurate. This one is what we call now F plus the suffix of alkene in. So, ethene. How many carbons? There are 1, 2, 2 carbons. How many hydrogen? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, H4. C2H4. So, C2H4, that's the molecular formula. If I will be using the formula, say for instance, I want to know uh, the the number of hydrogen for 7, no, without even knowing this one. So, 7. C7, H2 times 7 would be C7, H14, which is true. No? Hopefully, you can follow. So, this is true. The formula is true for uh, one double bond only. No, one double bond only in alkenes. Magbabago to kapag there's a, a multiple double bonds in a compound. So, the basic alkenes are your Again, the same prefixes with our alkane except that there is no meth. Now, there is no one carbon. So, we have ethene. Now, kapag magde-debut ka na, ethene ka, <laughs> dapat, charot. We have propene. We have butene. No? Kapag hindi nag-cash siya, butene na. <laughs> charot. Salamat sa mga tumatawa sa mga jokes ni Sir. Pentene. Now, our shampoo. And then, we have hex, hep, octane, nonin, desin. Alright? And kapag 11, no, and desin, kapag 12, do desin. And so on and so forth. And the uh, formula is you multiply the number of carbon times 2, 2, no, to get the hydrogen. So, C2H4, C3H6, so on and so forth. Now, let's compare how do we name alkanes and how do we name alkenes. No? So, Basically, 
we've learned already how to name alkanes. So this is a culmination, this is a recall and a culmination and a diagnostic as well of what you've learned in naming alkane. So I'll give you probably yan, any any amount of time that you wish. So you may pause the video and try to name this particular compound. So okay, hopefully you've paused the video and you tried naming this because we'll be naming it all together. So recall the steps in naming alkanes. First step is of course determine the longest chain. So I could go this in this way: one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So of course I'll go for this straight chain. So I have a heptane. No, because this is an alkane, so this will be a heptane. So we're still recalling how to name an alkane. And then, second step is to determine my attachments and where should I start. So in our rule, no, we start in a manner that our substituents, so these are my subchains or side chains, attachments, branches, no, whatever your book call them. So, uh, we start counting in such manner that we will give them the least possible number. So, I can, uh, again, I can either start from left to right or right to left because these are three-dimensional. No? This can be vertical. This can go this way. No? So, I can go from left to right or right to left. So, if I go from left to right, that's be, that will be one, two, three, Four, five, six. So four, five, and six for my attachments. If I go from right to left, that would be one, two, three, four. So two, three, four. And obviously, the going from right to left would give me a lesser values for my substituent. Then I shall choose that one. So I shall go counting from right to left. That would give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 2 methyl. So 1 carbon dito. So that's a methyl. So let me write it separately first, my attachments. So this is 2 methyl. Then I have 3 bromo. That's a halogen. We learned that uh, the alkyl halides can also be our substituents or attachments. So, 3 bromo. And then finally, I have 1, 2 carbon. That's an ethane, but it's an attachment. So, I have 4 ethyl. Alright. Now, the last step in naming is to arrange them according to the first letter no, by alphabetical arrangement. No, or arrange them alphabetically. So, it will become... My final name would be, first is E, uh, first is B rather, sorry, followed by E, then M. So the name will be 3. Letters and numbers are separated by hyphen. So 3, bromo. So we don't use space, we use hyphen. 3, bromo, hyphen, to introduce another number. That's 4, another I hyphen, to introduce a letter. Ethyl and then hyphen 2 hyphen methyl. Since wala na ditong number, I can connect my methyl here. So this compound will be 3 bromo 4 ethyl 2 methyl heptane. Now it's a long name, no, but with the proper rules and procedures in naming alkanes, it's it's a bit easier, no. Step by step structured you'll get the name, no? a universal name that any scientist, any chemist in uh, anywhere in the world would understand. No? Hopefully, kachimek, nakuha. So, you belong with a, uh, with a chemistry world. Alright, so that's how we name alkane. How about, how do we name alkenes? No? So, of course, we will still follow similar, no? very similar rule in naming alkanes. Uh, however, we have some additional rules. No, ito yung dagdag nating rule. First, 
rule natin sa alkane, again, which is very similar, we locate the mother chain. However, in here, since we have a multiple bond, now we have multiple bonds, we make sure that the double bond has the least possible number. So, alimbawa, uh, I have this particular example. So, we'll use skeletal now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To represent a double bond, I simply add a double bond here. So, alimbawa, ganyan. Now, uh, it says here that my double bond should have the lowest possible number. So, again, I can still count from right to left or left to right. So, if I start counting from left to right, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I count from right to left, 1, 2, 3, 4. It will give me 3, 4 against 2, 3. Now, because there are 2 carbons involved. So, 2, 3 or 3, 4. Of course, I'll choose 2, 3 because that's the lowest or the lower one. And then, to name it, there are two ways. So, ito, some internet books or some internet uh, resources, some books uses different way of naming this. And both are acceptable. So, the first way of naming this one is to write the prefix first of the specific hydrocarbon. So, it's 5, then it's a pent. So, then, then it's, a, it's a pent. And place the location of the first carbon. Take note, first carbon, where it starts, now the double bond. So, 1, 2, it's in the 2. Separate it by a hyphen, and then add the prefix ENE. -E. So, maybe you have seen uh, names written in this format. Pen to in. Now, pen to in. Another way, from UPAC, both are acceptable. We can write to pentin. No, because it's a simple structure. Again, both are acceptable. Now, mas cool lang tong tingnan kasi parang pen to in. This one is much simpler. And uh, kahit ano yung gamitin nyo, that would be fine. But to standardize, no, uh, I think kapag pinaghalo-halo na kasi natin ng alkins and alkynes in our later discussion, you'll be confused of this one of where to place the number for the double bond, the number for the triple bond. So, I prefer using this one. So, pent to ENE. -E. So, that uh, the double bond will not be separated to its uh, suffix. So, pent to in. But again, both are accepted. Now, depende sa instruction kung anong hinihingi. So, pay attention to the instruction. Another uh, rule dito sa number one, uh, what if, so let me erase this one now, what if I added an attachment? So, paano kapag may attachment na in my double bond? So, I'll be using the same example. So, meron ditong methyl. I have a double bond here. I have a methyl. In our alkane, we start with our attachment, right? So, kung it's, if, it's, if this double bond is not here, I'll start from right to left. However, uh, the rule in alkene says that we prioritize, no, double bond have priority over alkyl or halo substituent. So, methyl man siya, ethyl, bromo, chloro, fluoro, we, do, we don't prioritize them. We prioritize wherever the double bond is lesser no, or is nearer in the terminal end. Kung nandito siya, better. No, kasi mas maliit yung number ng double bond natin at ng attachment. So, take note. Prioritize your bond over the attachment. So, maghanap ka ng someone, para hindi makalimutan, someone that you can bond with. No, could reciprocate what you are giving. Someone that is stronger. No? Unlike attachment lang, no? papa-attach ka lang, so mayroong uh, uncertainty, hindi ka sigurado. So, bond over attachment. So here, the name will be 4-methyl, four, four kapag ganito na, 4-methyl, pwedeng 4-methyl to pentin, pero sabi ko nga, uh, I prefer this one, 4-methyl pent 
to in. So, 4 methyl, pen to in. Alright? So, hopefully, din, din ako confused. Pero again, pwede naman itong 4 methyl to pentin. Now, in our recitations, in our sit works, that would be fine. But in our exam, no, uh, uh, if if this format is us, no, then follow because we are preparing keys no, so that to help us check your exams. Sige. So another example, this one. Since the double bond is here, we start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this become 1 and 2. Kapag ganito, usually we don't write the 1 anymore. So uh, bising is here. Ang lakas na ng ulan. So 1 uh, this can be written as 4 methyl 4 methyl and then pwedeng kahit ano na lang he hexene 4 methyl hexene now we don't write the one anymore because it's intended it's in the first uh, first two carbons kasi walang one you know? uh, this is how we write it properly. Yung iba kasi, susulat pa siya, 4-methyl hex 1 ene no? Kapag wala namang multiple double bonds, it's already a given that the double bond is in the first carbon kapag walang number. So, that's 4-methyl hexene. No? That's, that's one of the first additional rules. We find the longest chain, parehas lang. We find the attachment, However, we prioritize where the double bond is. Parang mali ang na-drawing ko. Uh, this, this is an airplane. It's an airplane. Flying. Ching. <laughs> Alright. Sige. Uh, another additional rule, na the double bond must always be part of the longest chain. What do we mean by that? In some cases, pwedeng magkaroon ng ganto. So, naman, one, two, May double bond ka dito. Tapos, 3. Tapos, merong kang 4. Paano ba natin to illustrate? Sige, ganyan. Alright, sige. Ah... Uh, Let's uh, replace where the double bond is. Sige, halimbawa ganito. Sige. So, here, the first rule is to find the longest chain, right? So, the longest chain would obviously be this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. No? And this becomes an attachment. No? However, that is not acceptable. Now, despite this one being the longest, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, the double bond must always be part of the longest chain. So, kahit anong haba dito, I have to make sure that my double bond will be given the utmost priority. So, I'll start counting here. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So, this will be my longest chain instead of this one. So, that's an additional rule. Alkin double bonds have priority as compared to which one is longer. Alright? So, take note of that. So, I'll start counting here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that would be 2-ethyl and then pentene. 2-ethyl pentene. Alright? So, that's the second rule. Double bond but must always be part of the longest chain. Third, now if there are more one double bond, more than one double bond, we use prefixes such as died, tetra, etc., etc. So, ano example niya? Nalimbawa, merong ganito. So, medyo madali na lang, ba? Sabi ko nga, pag alam nyo na yung rule. So, ganito, we have two double bond. Either we start counting left to right or right to left. Obviously, Dito tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. So, that would be uh, either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, either 2 and 4 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 4 
uh, a 3 or 5. So, I'll choose 2 and 4. So, I go left to right. So, in here, we have 7. So, that's heptin. So, that would be 2, 4. 2, 4, heptin. Now, that's one way of naming it. 2, 4, heptin. Or, hept. 2, 4, in. Okay, so, we'll be using this one uh, in our uh, next example. Now, question. Sir, paano po kapag the attachments, uh, the, rather the double bonds, are in equidistant? Sige. Sir, alimbawa, equidistant sila. So, ano po ang gagawin namin? So, what if the double band looks like this one? 1, 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where the double band is both at 2 or 2. Kung sa, kahit saan ka man magsimula. So, kapag ganito, if the double band is in the same place, sorry, that's just a single line. If the double band is in the same place, therefore, you can start anywhere. However, if there is an attachment, so take note of this one, alimbawa, merong methyl dito, equal ang distance ng double band, so pinag-compare mo sila parehas, tapos may attachment dito, that's the time you'll prioritize where the attachment will get the least possible number. So nagiget, so kung eto lang double band, wala tong attachment, quit sila, either left to right or right to left. Pero may attachment ka dito, so you go left to right. To make your attachment uh, as low, with the low number as possible. Alright? So, that's uh, an additional rule for the additional rule in number 3. And last additional rule, no? if there's a choice in numbering not previously covered, the parent chain is number, o oh, yun na nga pala, <laughs> that's the fourth rule pala, to give the substituent the lowest number at the first point difference. So, ito na yung mga Ano natin sa rule kapag nagkaka-problema? Even in alkenes, ba? I think I just mentioned this one. Ganto kapag sa alkenes, parehas methyl, tabla. So, left to right, right to left, left, it doesn't matter. However, kapag ethyl na dito, or bromo, someone that is lower than letter M, o that comes first in the alphabetical order than M, we start from right to left. Paano naman kapag ganto? Uh, naging ganyan siya as dito 1, 2, 3 tapos 1, 2, 3 I have 3 on my ethyl I have 3 methyl here so last time baka si confuse kayo kung ito lang dalawang pagpipilian natin we will choose the ethyl. So, we'll start right to left. However, may additional substituent ka dito. So, we'll prioritize this lower number for these two attachments. So, mag -le left to right tayo. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on and so forth. So, these are some uh, a little bit tricky part, no? some common mistakes that a student might uh, might ano might forget no, or might be confused when naming all right so hopefully you've learned how to name the alkenes with some four additional rules basically alkenes are very similar in the rules of naming alkenes and for your task for today hopefully hindi brown out no so this will be due for one week naman kasi we, we have a typhoon no, and, and it's raining raining hard outside. It was falling on my feet. I got soaking wet, soaking wet. But I stayed outside. Charot. That's my just chant when I was in high school. Sige. Let's try to name this one. Oh, I, I think I I, I have I, I had a mistake in the last item. Thank you sa mga naka-notice. Yung ganito. Nakalimutan ko. So that's one, two, two, three, four, five. That would be two, three, so, ulitin ko, sorry. Ngayon ko lang na-realize, hindi ko pala na-add yung rule. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's, sabi ko kanina, that's 2, 3, pentin. Whereas, it should be 
two, three, pent, ta, die in. So, i-add natin ulit yung e so that it will sound uh, grammatically correct. So, magiging pentadayin, hexadayin, heptadayin kapag may die na tayo. Kasi dalawang double bond. Or again, the more, uh, the one that we are going to use would be, it would be penta 2-3 dayin. Kasi may dalawang double bond. Kapag tatlo, uh, that will be tryin. You know, I'm trying my best. Sarot. Para mapatawa kayo, tryin and then a tetrain, and then pentain, etc., etc. Depende. So, for this example, we'll apply all the rules now, for, from alkene and alkenes in this one single compound. So, seemingly, this is complicated, pero again, no, with, with the following uh, rules that can guide you, this comes easily. Sige. So, what would be the name of this seemingly complex compound? So, I'll be uploading a task and you have to write the name in the comment, private comment section. The right name for this one. Alright? So, if you, have ma if you have any questions so far with the rules, you can always message me. Now, again, uh, alkenes, just like alkenes which we use as fuel, either ga gas or liquid fuel, alkenes naman are common. Now, in our houses, because we use them in our dishes, we use them to clean our plates, our utensils, etc., our clothes even, or even our body. So, they mostly come in soaps and detergents. Now, the double bond, diba? from a gas to uh, a cleaning material, that's how magnificent chemistry is. Just by changing the amount of bond, no, the property the molecular geometry, we create a different product. Alright? So, I'm not endorsing this particular brand. Uh, I just cropped them out from a Google to, to give you an idea that we are, again, not talking randomly. No, chemistry is in our daily life. So, yan na muna for now. Le, uh, on our next synchronous session, we'll give more examples about alkenes. No? And if there's still time, we'll talk about alkynes and the arenes. Right? Maraming maraming salamat mga kachimik. Stay safe and peace.